In this video, we'll see some string related functions. Now string related functions, I mean to say if I want to calculate length of the string, if I want the string into the uppercase, lowercase, or if I want some part of the string separately from the left hand side or the right hand side or from the middle. So I can use different functions related to string. HP UFT is very rich in terms of the scripting part with the string functions. So you can see here, I've written some coding part here and I've written few uh, functions here related to scripts that is the string functions. So I'll execute and I'll show you, explain you step by step everything. I'll just click on this run button and I'll click on run. Yeah. So very first thing, if you see, that's a comment which is given here. I've declared a variable that is dim var1. In that var1, I want some value. I'm asking some user some value from the input box, enter username, that's enter username. I'll enter some value, okay, that value will go inside this variable one. And what I want is, I want to calculate length of the string. So message box, length of var1, okay, so whatever value will be in the var1, I want to get the length of that thing. So I'll just type here as tutorials space point, okay, tutorials point. So when I click on OK, I'll get a message box which will have the value in the form of integer. I'll just click on OK. So you see it is giving me as 15. So the value it is giving me as 15. I've entered tutorials space point here. So I'll just click on OK. Now instead of this variable name, if you want, you can put the text in double quotes. Still you'll get the answer. So if you see the next line, message box length, instead of var1, I've put tutorials point with the space separated. So if I click on OK, see remember the number 15. So if I click on OK, same thing I've got answer as 15. Now the thing is, it is in the fixed value, whereas this value can be changed. It is not rigid. Click on OK. Now, let's see the next one. If I want the lower case of the text, I've, 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 I've typed there as tutorials point T capital P capital. But if I want everything in the lower case, I'll type as L case in brackets variable one. That's a variable value. So here it is given as tutorials point everything in the lower case. If you want the upper case, you just type as U case inside, you'll type the variable name. I'll just click on OK. So you see everything is in the capitals. That was nothing but U case, right? So L case and U case, they are for lower case and upper case. I'll click on OK. Now, if you want some part of the string, that is the tutorials point, if you want some part, okay, from the left hand side, you can just type as left, message box left. From this text, give me how many characters? Three characters. So you see here, tutorials point from this place, give me three characters. So three characters from starting, if you see TUT, this TUT is given here. So I've got the answer as TUT. How I got this? Message box left, the text comma number of characters. So I've got as three. Same if I want as right characters. So from this place, I want three characters from right. So the right three characters are nothing but INT. So that is INT. If I click on OK, that is INT here, right? So that I've got it. But now I don't want the from the left hand side, neither from the right hand side. So if I want from something in between from the middle part, how do I get it? So for that, what I have to give is, so you see here that is given as message box middle part, tutorials point. Now I want three characters, okay? The last one is no, nothing but number of characters. But from which position number? That is the position number two itself. So position number two with respect to this text is TU. So the second position is for you. From U, I want three characters, U, T, and O. So these are three characters. So if I click on OK, so if you see U, T, and O, these are three characters. Starting from second position, I want three characters. So num uh, starting position and number of characters, I'll get in the form of message box. I'll click on OK, and finally this is done. So these are some few functions related to string, and you can use uppercase, lowercase. You can take part of the string, left string, right string, or middle string, right? So I hope you have understood some string-related functions. That's all for this video.